Howard Dulley was just 12 years of age when his father paid $200 to infamous neurosurgeon Dr. Walter Freeman to lobotomize him. Dr. Freeman had diagnosed Dulley with childhood schizophrenia since he was four years old, despite numerous other medical practitioners not detecting any psychiatric disorder. The lobotomy was meant to alleviate what his stepmother and others considered to be Howard's problematic behavior, which included mood swings and disobedience. During the procedure, an orbiter class was driven through both of Dulley's eye sockets, delving seven centimeters into his brain. Following the lobotomy, Dulley was institutionalized for years as a juvenile due to behaviour problems, later incarcerated, and eventually became homeless and an alcoholic before cleaning up his act and getting a college degree. It wasn't until his 50s that Dully sought to find out the details of what happened to him as a child. Due to the after effects of the surgery, Dully was unable to record the memories of what happened, and by this time his stepmother and Freeman were both dead. In 2007, he published a memoir called My Lobotomy, detailing how the procedure impacted his life and his search for the truth. For more information on the lobotomy and Howard Dully, check the full-length video on my channel.